always like that intro. I just think it's neat. Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, friends, and welcome to Empire at War Expanded, the Fall of the Republic mod. So, I have two reasons for doing this. One, because I wanted to play a really cool mod of a really cool game that I've gone back into and have been kind of fixated on recently. And two, I wanted to see if I could record this without getting elbow dropped by uh, Disney's legal department. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is basically an RTS slash grand strategy game for uh, Star Wars. It's on PC. It's very old now. It's like, what? Is it approaching 20 years old now? It's not there yet, but it's definitely getting there, I'm sure. It's old, but the modding scene for this game is nuts the modders are incredible i've this is the second mod i've played i've played another mod whose name i can't remember unfortunately but that like upscaled the graphics to modern for like 2018 i think but still pretty fucking modern and added like hundreds of ships that mod was insane and i need to actually go find what it was uh because it was ridiculous but uh, we're not doing any of that. Fall of the Republic is also a fantastic mod, and I've been really enjoying it. I've started a game. It's a from the ground up save on um, Era 1. So this is actually before clones were even introduced to the Republic. So I don't have access to clone troopers. And I don't have access to, like, acclimators or venators or secutors or anything like that. Let me show you my ground force first of all. Let's, let's do this from the ground up, as it were, if you see what I mean, right? Uh, I have a vat e gunship, a vat e video gunship, which is not even a lot gunship, it's the one that came before. And weirdly, actually, I have Senate guards, because I managed to fulfill a request from the Senate, and they sent me some elite infantry, which was very nice. Appreciate that. But my ground forces, if we head over to Camino, I can show you, are like people. They're just people. Like, it's just people. It's not clones. These are not fucking Django Fets. These are just dudes. Uh, I'm working with some real bare bones basics here. And the ships? Oh, let me introduce you to the fucking ships, right? This is my big ship that I have. Not the big ship, but this is one of the biggest ships I have available to me. A Dreadnought Heavy Carrier, which is old, doesn't have many guns, and has some fighters in it. And this is what I'm working with. My flagship is... Let me just mouse the guy if the game will fucking let me. There we go. Is this dude, Jonah Grumby, who is piloting an invincible dreadnought, who which is an old piece of shit. A capital ship with 7,200 hull and 5,600 shields is not good, right? It does have quite a few guns on it, and it does have a fighter and bomber hanger, which is fantastic, but it's not a very good ship. It just isn't, and this is what I'm working with in this challenge. And I'm not certain, but I think... I think the Confederacy gets access to some later tier ships, at least some. I think if they take Kuat, or Kuat, I don't know how it's pronounced, I think they get access to more ships, which is scary. But this is very early in the campaign. I think I've done like two games of this, like I did them yesterday in my off time on my day off, um, where I quit because I was just getting bodied because it had been a very long time since I'd played uh, Empire at War and forgot a lot of the nuances. Let's resume, let's get things going. Uh, yeah, so I had to take a couple tries to kind of get used to things and get back into the grip of it, as, as it were. Under construction. And I'm doing alright, I mean, I've only got three planets, it's very fucking early in the campaign, but we need, whoops, we need to try and establish something of an in, of a infrastructural complete. and ship base, as it were, get some good stuff going, get a lot of fleets going before we meet with the Federation and the pirates, otherwise we'll be in trouble. We don't have any Senate requests at the moment, but those will come in. For the moment, I want to scout some of these nearby planets and see what they've got. Because this fleet sucks, just does, and, you know, I'm scared of everything. Let's get some more Corvettes, because in this world of Era 1 space warfare, where proper big ships are incredibly rare and not very good, the Corvette is actually extremely useful for anti-fire duty and point defense, right? Being able to... Hello, what is the Senate want? What do you want? Government convoy raid. Republic intelligence officer, we've tracked an enemy supply convoy close to the front lines. This is a chance to disrupt their flow of material to the front. Destroy the following unit, Super Transports 11 Convoy, Quantity 2 at Ukyo. And my reward would be three Starbolt Assault Carriers, which are, let me just show you, because I swear I have one. Yeah, this, which is like, what? It has a couple fighters in it, uh, some fighters and bombers in it, and some mild guns. It's a very small ship, but it's one of my better ships, to be honest. I could really do with that, so what I'm going to do, yeah, this is I'm going to get a scout. Unit in production. We're going to scout Ukyo and we're going to attempt to take it. Can you go over there, please? 
You go over there, please. Stop wasting my time and go over there. Thank you. See, they're not clones, which means they're very dumb. You gotta shower them a few times before they do what you want. So, actually, let's... Fuck, I keep thinking space is paused. Stop. Let's have a quick look. So, yeah, those are the two super transport convoys. They are big on um, fighters, if I remember correctly. I don't actually see anything in it. But surely that's a... A fighter hangar, isn't it? Or is it just a fucking box in space? I don't know. Point is, we gotta destroy it. They've got a Gazanti cruiser squadron. That's spooky. But honestly, this fleet ain't too bad. It's definitely not as good as ours. It's just the fact that they've got a uh, space station there that we've got to worry about as well. But yeah, we can take them. And we need more planets. So let's get in there and do it. Uh, if you're new to this game, or if you think about picking it up and you start playing it yourself, my recommendation to you would be to never auto-resolve a single battle. Especially not the space ones, because the game will fuck you over hard like i think some of us have gotten too comfortable with uh All with right. uh, like so War warhammer 3 and stuff the in terms of thinking. auto resolve it is incredibly brutal in this game you will lose ships like a motherfucker if you auto resolve whereas potentially you can get through a fight without losing any ships now here's for my favorite strategy in dealing with things you guys go ahead you guys just go ahead i will pick a target let's have a look Uh, hmm, maybe... Could get rid of their Dreadnought. Yeah, get rid of the Dreadnought. I just send the fighters and bombers ahead to swarm them and drop one of their ships. Then, uh, by the time the Red Fleet actually gets to me, they've usually, usually lost one of their big ships. Some of their fighters are damaged from skirmishing with my fighters, and by the time my fighters are destroyed, my hangars have deployed more. But yeah, this is, this is our flagship, the Invincible. It's... <laughs> <laughs> the Invincible Class Dreadnought Rutilus. It's kind of a, a, a rickety piece of shit, but I also really like how it looks. It's a nice looking ship. Oh wow, we're getting a lot closer than I thought. Wasn't paying attention. You guys, I want you on fire duty. Just start taking them down. Don't let them get through. Some of the bombs will get through, but we got good shields. We'll be okay. Uh, as you all have noticed, my micromanagement of this is awful because I'm not used to it. <laughs> like, I'm still getting back into grips with it, and I've never been good at this game to begin with. And trying to talk while doing it as well. Oh boy, that's a whole thing. But I think we'll be okay. I should have a quick look. Everyone's health is holding up nicely. No one's in danger. You're looking a little peaky. You fall back. The fighters are doing their jobs, which is to say dying. That's good. That's what I want them to do. Their big ships have gone down. Look at that thing crumble. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, we're properly dominating them now, so I think we just focus on getting rid of those transports and we'll be fine. I reckon the most difficult part of taking this place will be the ground battle, to be honest. I'm very bad at ground battles. If you think I'm bad at space battles, just you fucking wait. So we can start moving up. I've found, and I don't know how true this is, but, you know, newbie tactics for newbie players. I've found that typically the best way to do things is to macro manage your capital ships into picking big targets and firing at them. And use your small ships, micromanage your small ships to be escort. You know, like, give them their job and then micromanage, like, your corvettes and stuff to make sure they have a path to get through, especially if the enemy have a lot of fighters. I don't know if that's a good way to play or not. Because I'm shit at this. I really like space combat, but I'm bad at it. It is just the way of things. I can't help it. I love my Corvettes, though. They're so quick, and and they, they shoot the fighters real good, and a lot of these fights really do come down to who has the better fighters. Weirdly, in this instance, it looks like it was us. I just realized those are bombers. I do send the bombers and the fighters into the scrum a bit when it comes to situations like this. When there are big ships, I want them hitting the capitals because capitals struggle to deal with them half the time. You're a little bit too close to the front there, friend. I don't know if I like that. So obviously you can give your ships the order to like shoot specific targets, but if you don't give them an order to shoot, they'll just fucking shoot at anything. So. You do need to micromanage them, of course you do, but it is helpful knowing that they will do something even if you're not actively poking them to do something. They will do something. It's okay. Very helpful is that they can divert their shields to their firepower, which is great because their shields suck so much anyway that it doesn't fucking matter if their shields are up. Well, it does, 
but that tiny bit of damage done to their shields, which is regenerated, in exchange for higher firepower, is totally worth it because, you know, the enemy can't shoot you if they're dead. So, we may as well focus on that, right? This is a foregone conclusion by this point. Their stations are completely undefended. We'll have them in a sec. But I like this. I like Star Wars ships, and, like, I know this isn't the really cool, like, Clone Wars uh, Republic ships where we don't have, like, Venators and Acclimators and stuff like that, but I really like these pieces of shit. I like these ships. Like, you know, that looks really cool. That looks really cool. I like that thing. I like this thing, this blocky little piece of crap. I like this humongous waste of scrap metal. I like them all. I think they're all great. They have strong resistance. And I did start a uh, campaign, this very, like, you know, from the ground up campaign. I did start one on uh, Era 2. I didn't like it as much because I was doing way better because I had better ships. It turns out the Republic really starts to shine at Era 2. But it was a bit boring and I liked the challenge of trying to get these guys to work. And they do work, kinda. I mean, that's a pretty good result. But it's worth mentioning for those of you who don't know, the fighters that were on the field spawned from our ships, which means when those fighters are destroyed, we don't lose anything, because they literally just spawned from our capital ships. This way, you can send your fighters in to deal with troublesome opponents without actually suffering any losses. And that's very nice. I like that. Good work, Commander. Keep this up and we'll starve the enemies into submission. Take your three fucking carriers, I will. Thank you very much. Navigating. And now we attack. I said we attack. Yes, we attack. Invasion commencing. This might be a little bit more hairy. Uh, let's see, what have they got? They've got enforcer platoons, which is just like local police units. Good defense, but they're not very strong. Juggernaut war droids. Ah, lovely, fantastic. Storm cloud car wing from fucking Bespin. I remember though, they're not actually from Bespin, but... And they've got a Varty gunship just like we do. And they've also got a Skyhopper wing. And they've got their ground facilities that will spawn troopers. Yeah, or vehicles or whatever. So, yeah, we're actually... It's a bit iffy. I think we'll be okay as long as we're careful. Usually there's something on the planet that you can take to get you some additional forces, but mostly we're just going to have to... Be decisive. Choose your reinforcements. On the move. We do have uh, Senate commandos, uh, or Senate guards, Over as well. There. Senate guard commandos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they'll probably do a good job. Probably. What's our plan of attack, sir? We're on our way. I know it's a vehicle to the southeast, or a fucking building, I should say, to the southeast that we're going to want to take. Uh, okay, we should keep our fucking forces together. If they pick us off, we're fucked. We've only got one more unit to deploy anyway, so if we can just get over here, secure this landing pad, get our last Senate Commando on the field, then it doesn't matter if they take the reinforcement points because we have no use for them anymore. I'm gonna see if I can skirmish with Vati a little bit. See if I can get it to do some stuff. Yes, sir. Proceeding. Yes, sir. Oh, hello. We got trouble. There's the cloud cart, there's the cloud cart. Look at it go, what a goofy little fella he is. Sir. He's probably trying to lead us back towards... I thought he was trying to lead us back to his lines, but I think he's just scouting. You reckon you can? You reckon you, you reckon you could? You could? You reckon you could kill him? If you could kill him, that'd be really Ready. helpful. You guys, get down there. I need to keep an eye on this. Can't afford to lose this gunship. We don't have a lot of things anyway. I see they had multiple. Ah, yes. Might need to lead them back towards our, our troops. On the move. Get ready to provide fire support, lads. You need to fall back. I don't want to lose my gunship. No. No. No, 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 no. Shoot that quickly. No, you bastard. These guys are not well suited to taking on gunships, I've noticed. We may be suffering a slight type disadvantage here. I think we did get them, though. We're doing alright, we're doing okay, we're doing alright, we're doing okay. Start moving towards that, because I want to get some back to going, because if this is all I've got to work with, we need to make sure they're healthy. I see a fucking speeder over there. Yep, there's infantry over there. You guys should probably engage. Constructing. On duty. 
orders received. Hurry up with that back to goddamn. <laughs> we need that back to now. <laughs> It's not looking great, I gotta be honest. I would use a bombing run, but I can never tell what direction it's gonna come from, and if it came from that way, I would lose all of my forces. Just dig in. Weird that we're fighting defensively in an invasion, but you know, we're working on it. Right, that's down. I want you guys to break cover and get us some fucking reinforcements. I want you guys to push up a little bit. I want you guys to come back and heal. In fact, I want all of you here healing. The lack of formation controls like in um, Total War Warhammer 3 is a little painful, I have to admit. I'd love to be able to put these guys in some fucking formations, but what do you want? It's a game from 2005. We're getting local military squads. That's good. That's exactly what we want. Yes, we lovely. I don't care about the landing zone. Yes, Commander. We don't this even way. use it anymore because we deployed all of our forces. Ready. We have friends now. Advancing. Look at those little dudes. They're going to help us liberate this place for the Republic. It just occurred to me I could have taken... Uh, well, there's like a thingy over here that is like a... Uh, infantry healing building that yes, I totally sir. could have taken, Orders but received. I still could, Base but... Under attack. Following your lead. Do you mind? Ignore him, I suppose. Roger. Right away, sir. The moment we're under attack, take cover. Contested. I don't care if they take the reinforcement points. What we really want to focus on doing is taking their fucking buildings. We've got a bombardment available, that's very nice. We are going to make use of that. Fucking... Okay, we're under attack. What else is new? I did tell you all to shoot that guy, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, maybe you should get on with it. Maybe don't worry about that building and just push up. Right really, away. we need to get to their fucking buildings as soon as possible and destroy them. Prepared to assist. So that they stop producing Head units. Stand ready. Good. Good. Okay, Reporting good. In. All right, wonderful. Let's keep moving. Let's move out. Everything's great. We're Orders not going to die. Received. Not going to lie, you guys have a really shit deal. Uh, we're really lucky that the Senate sent us fucking keep Senate going. guards, because <laughs> if these were normal Republic troopers, they wouldn't have lasted half as long, I don't think. I very bravely took a sip of tea, despite the fact that we could be attacked at any moment, like almost possibly right now, depending on what they decide to do. Scavengers. Mm, don't like them. No. Over there. Is there a hotkey for that, per chance? Not that I can see. There probably is, I just don't know what it is. I would have really liked if you destroyed that car, but you know, it's whatever. Advancing. Cool, keep moving, lads. Uh, you're doing great. Yeah, look at you all go. Some of you are blue, some of you are not blue, but you're all friends to me. We're taking a lot of fire. That fucking ship is pissing me off. Get back here, you jangly little fucker. Come on. Only good news is the uh, AI doesn't tend to use take cover, which does give you a minor advantage in infantry engagements, but we're still taking damage. We can't stay and take cover all the time because it slows us down and we need Go to get on, moving. Advance. The longer we take, the more Slow units down. they spawn, or more waves they can send us, as it were. 
Because, you know, we kill their units, they wait for another unit to spawn, and they send at us. And if we're too slow in our advance... Oh, you, you lot can fuck off. If we're too slow in our advance, they can spawn more units to send at us. On the other hand, I don't want to lose these Senate Commandos. They're kind of valuable. I can't make them, and they're really good infantry. Off you go. Get moving, get moving, get moving, get moving, get moving. Good, get rid of them. Uh, tell you what, fuck it. Nuke that. And then hit that. Do you know what I want you to do? Do that. Do a bombing run and then fucking run. Let's go. Right with you, defending the area. Fire. And hope to God that the bombing run doesn't hit us. Keep going. That plane is such a nuisance. Please get him. Thank you. We've lost so many fucking Senate commandos. On this backwater planet, there's not even any separatists here. This way. This is an independent. There are no droids here, no droid occurs, no Count Dooku, nothing. Just a bunch of idiots. Over we need there. another back to tank. Nice and sneaky, lads, nice and sneaky. No chance. <laughs> Couple grenades just to make sure. Good job. Good job, guys. Well done. Pleased. Pleased with you. You've noticed that if you can hear any music at all, it's very quiet. There's a reason for that. It's because I don't want to get sued or a copyright strike. Yeah, we lost quite a bit. I need to make some more units. We need more ground troops. Training soldiers. I don't care if they're shit. You can overwhelm a planet with sheer numbers if you're angry enough. And boy, am I angry all the time, so it should be easy. But yeah, that's the game, essentially. Space combat, ground combat, grand strategy, go for it. I like it quite a lot. Now, the Confederacy and the um, Cartel are still miles and miles away. We're probably not going to have to deal with them anytime soon. But that's no reason to rest on our laurels. We need infrastructure, we need money. We need to get stuff going. Our income is pathetic, as you might have noticed. I know Phil has, like, double trade bonus, Awaiting but orders. if I'm right, the fleet guarding that planet is absurd. Coughless might be a choice. And let's not forget that we are doing a video, so a large space battle is going to be required at some point. We'll have a look at Phil, because I think it might bring us more money. How's it looking? What do we got? That looks like a big fleet. I don't like a big... F oh, that's a big fleet. Uh, that's a big fleet. Uh, Corvette, uh, Carrot Cruiser, uh, Super Transport. That one does have fighters in it. So the advantage... Yeah, they have a lot of ships, and that's scary, but they don't really have any big ships. These are all pretty small. And it's a light frigate shipyard, so they're not... The Dreadnought Heavy Carrier is the biggest thing they've got. I reckon we could take them. Maybe just wait one more turn to get uh, another ship in here or something, like another carrier or whatever, and then hit them, and I reckon we can. And Phil will bring us a lot of money. This is what I have access to in terms of ships. Oh god, a mission. Oh, fucking... You want me to scout them? Yeah, you want me to scout them, but you will give me two Dreadnought Heavy Carriers. Alright, that's kind of worth it. Uh, Republic Intelligence has requested surveillance efforts on these worlds. Successful reconnaissance will aid us greatly. Well, I was about to recruit a bunch of ships, but instead, Unit let's get two of those. Because we're basically going to pay a thousand credits for two uh, heavy carriers, which costs 1,600 each. So we're actually saving like 1,200 credits, which, <laughs> that's pretty good. I didn't mean to. I keep thinking space is pause. I forgot where they are. Sanjin there. Okay. That wasted a lot of time, admittedly. So I sent one to Sanjin, I need to send one to Thy- There we go. Uh, Tythera. Lovely. And while we're waiting for that, let's get some more ships. Like, I don't know, another Dreadnought Heavy Carrier? I should probably do more for my economy now, though. Really, all spending should be focused on my economy, because boy, does it suck. On my way, Commander. 
We're about to get another two heavy carriers, and then we'll be able to take Phil with no problem. And then we'll get those trade bonuses. Ah, oh, the trade bonuses. But what about the Wookiees? War is hard. Thank you, Commander. We have gained useful intelligence from this. Yeah, and I've gained two ships. We now have five Dreadnought Heavy Carriers. And while these aren't good ships, like Dreadnought Heavy Carriers really aren't good ships, five of them is still significant and they all spawn fires and bombers. They've each got two medium turbo lasers, two heavy quad laser cannons and one heavy laser cannon. That's not a lot of guns, but it is all more guns, isn't it? It all helps. Yeah, planetary bonus trade hub. We need this. Kind of desperately. And we've got the fucking... I can't even remember what the name of the ship actually is. The Rutilus. We got the Rutilus to provide firepower. We can make it work. There's a lot of big ships over there. Actually, there's a lot of small ships over there. That does have fighters. I think we want to take that out. Here come the fight. Oh, we have a lot more than we did last time. All right. Form up. Beginning approach. Fuck it. Hit whatever comes first. Let them come to us. Send the fighters out to do the work. Go, my pretties, die in mass for your supreme chancer. Form the foundation of the new galactic empire. Do it. <laughs> Kill them. Well, I love these old crappy ships. They're great. It's just a little more interesting to me, because don't get me wrong, I love, like, the Clone Wars ships. Like, you know, I played the original Star Wars Battlefront 2, and I was in love with the space battles in that game, because I loved using, like, um... The, the clone bomber. My god, that ship is my favorite. I fucking adore that thing. Um, and obviously the capital ship was great. I just love all of the clone ships. But getting to play old Republic stuff is actually really interesting to me. Oh, watch that ship melt. With just the release of a thousand bombs, I will make this asshole disappear. It's a lot of uh, their fires coming in. We've noticed this. You guys gonna need to push up and activate uh, that ship, and you did destroy that ship very good. Go for that one now. A lot of this will come down to our ability to fend off their fighters, which uh, I think we can do. You're taking some hits, but you're all right. You should focus your firepower on getting rid of that. They're getting rid of that. You guys push up. Push up a little bit, you guys. Come around here a little bit. Which these fires are doing good work. I'd like them to push up and start dealing with their shit. The Corvette's job is to deal with the fighters, and they are doing it. You are a little damaged, and you should push to the back. You're pretty quick. You might be able to get out of there. If not, well, you're very cheap. <laughs> oh. It still doesn't feel good, though. I don't like losing ships. Which is funny, because I'm if uh, I would lose less ships if I was gooder at the video game, you know? But I'm not, so. Focus fire on that, I want it I want it to go down. This one's mine. I'm on. What is it? I've got my approach vector. Concentrating fire. The Corvettes are doing great. Oh, we lost a fucking dreadnought. God damn. We're doing fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. How are you doing? You're taking quite a lot of fire there. Focus fire over there. Good, good, good. You're doing great. You're doing great. Keep it up, lads. You focus fire on that fucking dreadnought. I want it gone. Focus fire on that. Focus on that. Good. Now focus around on that. Yeah, yeah, you guys got him. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Coming in, coming in. Oh, my stars. You guys really are taking care of fucking business, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. Good stuff. I was worried that this wouldn't go well. And yeah, we lost like two ships, but we got a bunch of ships for free before this. So I, I consider it a success. We've got fighter superiority, which is a big deal. They have an interdiction mine, which is funny. Doesn't affect us in the slightest, because we ain't retreating. At your service. 
Keep your eyes open. I forgot that these Class C frigates also have point defense, so I should have them with the uh, Corvettes. So they can provide extra point defense against missiles and stuff. That'd probably be quite helpful. It's, there's no point doing it now, I guess. It's too late, but it, you know, in the future, in the future. Start pushing up, lads. I want you guys on escort duty. Start getting them out of the way. No chance. Oh, yeah. Look at his health go. Right, sir. I like to call his health bar a fire sale because everything must go. So we're on a standard attack approach. No sleep until the enemy station. And these guys are all on escort duty. We won't be stopped by a bunch of piddly ass fighters. Go on. Fuck off. I think I'd make a good Republic commander, don't you think so? And I should point out. Not that I think anyone would think this, but I feel it's worth stating just in case. When I say this is a crappy fleet, I don't mean like they're badly designed in terms of the game or badly balanced or anything like that. I just mean that these are intentionally crappy ships because they're tier one. They are error one. This is These are the basic bitch. These are antiquated ships in universe. Right. They are old and crappy. I've got I love them though. <laughs> I think they're great. Look at them go. It just, I, I don't know, a victory feels more earned with these guys. And I guess I just like seeing Star Wars ships that I don't see very often or at all. Because then I'm like, oh, new ships. Wow, look at that. That makes it interesting to me, I guess. I hope I can unlock more ships throughout this campaign. Like, I know the uh, From the Ground Up campaign, I think, stops error progression. So I'll never go beyond error one. But I'm hoping I'll at least get the opportunity to get some different ships. Because a bit of variety would be nice. The problem is, I got spoiled basically not spoiled in terms of learning things but spoil rotten basically by that mod i played before which had like dozens of different types of ships for each like class that that mod ruined me because oh the selection the options you could get so much we lost a fair few ships but all in all a success the fill will be important for our overall war economy we need credits so we can send those clankers back to the factory fuck the clankers it was worth pointing out that um, Era 1 armies, like their vehicles, blow. The vehicles suck. They are awful. <laughs> but they are still vehicles. Get down there, lads. Invasion commencing. We're going to overwhelm them with pure numbers. A desert world in the mid-rim, Filver is home to the technologically adept Filvians. Although naturally adapted to the desert, they prefer the climate-controlled cities they have built. The plant is home to a large spaceport and is a major information and trade hub. Well-known corporations like Blastec and Siena, or Siena, I don't know, maintain branches on the planet. Cool, we're here. Choose your reinforcements. Coordinates received. We'll start with our more disposable infantry and then we'll roll received. out the big boys as time goes and on, shall we? Local militia is aligned with our uh, enemies. I don't like that. There is an abandoned vehicle factory, though, and if we can get to that... Oh, boy. That looks like it might have credits in it. I want credits. I'm very poor. I don't know if you've noticed. My economy kind of sucks because I've been focusing more on raw expansion than actual development of infrastructure. And because I'm not good enough at the game to win battles without suffering losses, I'm also having to spend money, you know, recouping my losses. That's a lot of infantry. We can work with that. Do they suck? You bet. But there's a lot of them. I see the potential for money down it. Oh, it's one of those things. God, I have trauma of those Ready things from action. playing fucking Battlefront 2. Getting blindsided by one while running on Geonosis. Abandoned mining facility. Yes, 800 credits. We need that, lads. Yeah. Now fuck them up. Is it me or is this force actually better anti-armor than our last one was? We are suffering casualties though. Yes, mass infantry. Who needs tactics when you just have more troops? Fuck your vehicles. Get them out of here. Does someone else want to draw 
Enemies fire. Heading Maximum out. unit capacity. Yes, sir. We do have a bit of a, of a mobility disadvantage in that they can just disengage and re-engage at will, and we don't really have that luxury because we're so slow, even before we take cover, but uh, it works out. It's fine. Bombing run available, huh? Can we get some uh, Bacta going, perhaps? Uh, we need more troops. Almost there. On our way, sir. Capacity. On our way, sir. I think the bombing run got them. I have to assume. Waiting orders. Construction complete. Right, sir. You deal with them. You guys take the reinforcement point, and we'll get more troops in. There we go. Good shit. Does that whirlwind hurt people? No, good. Thank fuck for that. Oh god. It's just no there's no rest for these guys. There's just always something else. They're pushing on. Ready for action. I'll follow your lead. Everyone take cover. I don't want anyone getting sniped. Yeah, you're going down. Yeah, you're fucked. Goodbye. We've deployed all of our troops now, so what we've got is what we got. Over there. Available. Are we actually not getting Order shot for a moment? Can we can we move without being shot at? Uh, is, is it possible? No, I just heard a gunshot. <laughs> Never fucking mind. This game's fun, I like it, and the mods are incredible. I know I said that already, I'm gonna say it again. Uh, I fucking love it. Bantha skiffs. Bantha skiffs, I dare say. Weapons loaded. Pirate skiff mobile. Our base is under attack. How fucking dare they shoot skiff this ready. factory I just got. Kill them all. Our infantry are actually repairing the vehicles, so this works very well. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to take it. Oh, victory point. Oh, nice. All right, yeah, let's do that. Could it really be so easy? Right away, sir. Yeah, just take that. Fuck it. Oh, the it exploded. That's okay. You guys deploy mines. Oh. Almost there. This is a good. Si uh, we got a good ground force here, surprisingly. I mean, it is made up of, like, tactical infantry and fucking commandos. We are capturing Yours. it. It is happening. Ready for it. They can't force us off this point. Not unless they had bombing runs, which they don't. I just noticed we have a fuck ton of infantry Ready down here. Come help out. Why not? Those skiffs are very helpful. Roger that. Reporting. Why don't you get right in there? Because you're nearly dead. Form up. Anyone else who's wounded, get in there. Awaiting orders. Right you, that. get in there. I copy, sir. Yes, you, get, oh, you can't get in there, that's fine. Hey, we did it. Nice. You are required to surrender now and observe my brilliance. Yeah, and we only lost our shit infantry, not the good ones. So standard Roman tactics, send in the crap units first and then the good ones afterwards, because the crap units take all the initial fire and then you send in the good ones to mop up. That makes sense. I'm hoping we might be able to get some serious fucking bank out of Filver. Mission log. Oh, update. what now? I have been informed of some unusual activity in nearby systems. Well, I cannot personally get involved in an investigation, but you might shed some light. Denon and Brental 4, and we'd get 
Speed accompanies as a reward. That's the vehicle support we kind of need, isn't it? Actually. Yeah, okay. So Brental and... Denon. Okay. God, I have to remember where these fucking planets are. What makes them think I know? No, we'll wait until we can get that trade port. And then big money from this planet. Big, big money. Not big money, but big money. Not big money, but big money. You know, big money. Not big money, but big money. Not big money, but, you know, big money. Big business, you might even say. Just go to the planet, you bastard. Beginning construction. We'll get a light factory as well. And we'll hit Coughless, because fuck it. We need these plants desperately. An oceanic world in the mid-rim, Coughless is a bothing colony with a highly oxygenic atmosphere. During the Galactic Civil War, the planet was the site of a battle, where rebel forces stole the plans to the second Death Star. I dare say. Many bothins died to bring us that information, you know. Let's have a quick look at their forces. Mega! Dare I even say... Pathetic. You guys good to go? Cool, I want that thing dead. It's got multiple hard points, and if it has hard points, then it's gotta go. Did you mean to click us? Don't ask questions, just get to the front. Us? You're my point defense. And they can boost their shields? Yeah, which might be a good idea. When when combat starts, not right now, it'd be fucking pointless. Now they've got a lot of fighters, which means the approach is gonna be a little bit rough. To the point where I might right, even skirmish right. with these guys and see if I can get them to shoot down some of their fighters on the approach. I don't need to micromanage the fighters, they've got their job and they're doing it. If you guys can prevent them from coming in, that'd be lovely. Yeah, yeah, a nice wall of corvettes to just stop them from coming in. I have to keep an eye on their health they and their shields. No they do have point defense, which protects them against bombs and stuff. Those guys are doing some goddamn work. <laughs> that big ship of theirs has been destroyed. That's good. Focus on that one now. Their fighters are struggling to get in. Oh, it's going just, just swimmingly. I think now as their larger ships are approaching, the corvettes should back off, because there's no point in them getting shot to shit for no reason. I'd like you to start pushing up a little bit. Can you back off a little bit? They're kind of they're kind of pushing you a little bit. You guys push up. You push up, you go there. That's the thing with, like, fleet combat, especially when it comes to big ships, is you have to start moving your ships out of the way before they are noticeably in danger. <laughs> As you can see, it's happening to that Dreadnought right now. <laughs> yeah, he needs to fall back, and I might have even done it a little too late. Yeah, it's distinctly possible. Keep them off of him. I don't think he's going to survive. Aww. You hate to see it. I need to break Ready to commence. But such is the way of things. They're not going to take down the fucking, um, Rusia. Brutalus. I can't remember its fucking name to save my life. But as you can see, they are testing its shields. Like, that thing is far from invincible, despite what the name might make you think. Oh yeah, making it happen. Oh, you there, sir. You need to back the fuck off. Good stuff. Alright, now I want you guys to push up to deal with that. Alright. I want you guys to begin the slow march to I take their space station. Sort of 
I have the beginnings of like tactics in my mind, you know, like I'm starting to learn how to stun, but I've never really played many space combat games in my life. Like I played the original Homeworld back when I was a kid and far too young to understand the nuances of such a thing. But even as a kid, not understanding that game, I knew it was good. Like I knew that was good. I knew that was something special. Other than that, I haven't really played any space um, space combat games. I have uh, Battlefleet Gothic 2 and haven't played it yet. It sat in my fucking Steam library and I still haven't played it. I want to, but n it never just it just never seems like the right time to play it. I don't know. Oh, that fucking Corvette went down very quickly. You guys might want to move a little bit. Once again, it's not a big deal. They're fucking 200 credits a pop, but I still don't like losing them. I like my Corvettes. I really do. Nice and easy, no worries, off you go, goodbye. So what did we lose? One CR90 and a Dreadnought, that's not so bad. They're replaceable, that's less than 2,000 credits. That's all right. I didn't even see the Kaloth Battlecruiser and all that. I just destroyed it without even thinking about it. Let's take this stupid planet. Invasion commencing. Oh, it doesn't look like they have many forces on the ground. Oh, sucks to be them, huh? Yeah. Good, more troops please. Almost there. Setting course. We'll save the Senate commandos Already. for last. If we need them, we'll bring them in. Move if not, We're right behind you. we'll keep them in reserve. Because everything else here is, uh, except for the speeders, everything else here is replaceable. Moving. Ah, Droidicus, lovely. No, thank you. I'm starting to think the Separatists might be fucking funding these guys a little bit, because I'm seeing a lot of droids. Yeah, there's actually some droids there. I see them. You can't tell me I don't see them. Last one. They're fucking holding out. There we go. Nice roll. Ready to assist. I hope the speeders are in perfect health because A, they weren't really involved in the fighting much because they couldn't fucking get in, and B, because we have mechanics. Oh fuck, oh jeez, oh god, oh christ. Hopefully the mechanics can get to him. Good, yes, good, good, good. Managed to save that one speeder. I kind of like how unit matchups work in this game, where it's because in a lot of games you get like, oh sure, uh, you know, vehicles beat infantry, infantry beat aircraft, aircraft beat vehicles. Like I think that was the model for Halo Wars, for example. But in this game, it's like every unit can potentially be a threat to another unit depending on what weapons it's carrying. Like obviously, Droidicas are great anti-infantry, but a lot of basic infantry carry anti-vehicle stuff, but some don't. Some vehicles are great at destroying other vehicles. Some vehicles are better at destroying aircraft. We're I like the variety. Nearby. It also means, it also justifies the need to have a lot of different types of uh, units. So you get a lot of variety. Moving. Keep like, moving. those Navy troopers I had in the last battle, the ones that fucking sucked and carried no, like, weapons other than just basically blaster pistols, they are still dangerous to infantry. They can kill them. Like, a unit of Senate commandos could be taken down by some Navy troopers, given the right circumstances. There 
There we go. No chance. Those guys are actually good. Kill them. I don't like that. I don't want them to have good troops. When did they do that? Good lord. Stop flanking us. It's very annoying. God, there's always more of them. Oh, where did you guys even come from? Are those Geonosians or something? I hear those fucking, like, weird pistols that they have. Of course, this is what I mean about um, making sure you actually attack in a speedy fashion. And it's the disadvantage of massed infantry, because if you want your massed infantry to survive, they need to take cover. And if they take cover, they move very fucking slowly, which gives the enemy more time for their units to churn out more garrison units. They send more attacks at you, your forces get worn down. Fuck that thing up, I'm sick of it dropping troops on us. There we go. There we go. Well, it's all fine right now, because these are all independent systems, but when we actually have to deal with the fucking pirates or the uh, confederacy, which, spoiler alert, I don't think is going to happen in this video, because they're fucking miles away. But, oh, hello. What, you want more? You want more spying? Jedi Knight squads? You're going to give me Jedi? Okay, yeah, I'll take some Jedi. Fuck it, what do you want? Ordvarg and Com? 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 Yeah, okay. There's Com, where an Ordvarg is down there. Okay, right, yeah, cool. I can sort that out for you right now, chaps. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, no worries. Holy shit, we got a commander. Army Field Commander, Wyan. Command tier for land. An accomplished military leader with a training and real-life battle experience required to ma effectively manage a large group of personnel and resources. Their expertise in logistics, tactics, and strategy enhance the effectiveness of their subordinates and assets. Not all officers possess the same level of proficiency, but even the least capable commander can provide value to a ground, ground force. Three times Republic Trooper Squad. Cool. All right, nice, great. That's, wow, our ground forces went from being shitty to actually kind of good. Get over there. What do you want now? Construct space structures. <coughs> Several senators have petitioned the subcommittee for inter interstellar development of new orbital installations. Construct the ne necessary infrastructure and you should be rewarded appropriately. More Jedi. If I build some Golan 1 space colonies, I'll just give me more Jedi. Fuck it. Constructing. Fuck it. Whatever the Senate asks for, if they're going to keep chucking fucking Jedi at me, then... Sure. Complete. No problem, lads. I'll sort you out. Construction complete. No worries. Let's go attack Krondra. Tactical battle imminent. They've only got a light frigate shipyard. We should be fine. The spy report ran out, so we can't actually see what ships they've got. But I think I can see at least one heavy dreadnought. So that's going to be a thing. But what is it to us, truly? Located in the mid-rim, Krondra is a small icy world whose residents believe firmly in peaceful existence. Despite this aversion to war, the planet was forcibly conquered by the Empire shortly before the Battle of Yavin. The ongoing galactic civil war caused great damage to the proud planet. I'm gonna do that as well. I'm also gonna cause damage to the planet. Not intentionally, but you know, when you gotta shoot some fucking dudes, uh, sometimes. We must be cautious. Sometimes uh, you hit the planet instead. <laughs> this just happens, you know. Blast a bolt, misses someone, hits the planet. Huh. It is what it is. You can worry about it or you can accept it. Yeah, this fleet sucks. It's literally just heavy cruisers. Yes, go my pretties. Go my pretties. Fuck them up. Oh, I guess. Oh, I guess. Oh, I guess. I. The and they're even in range of our guns as well, so that's handy. Switch the attack pattern. Almost in range. They're suffering damage, but they'll be alright. <laughs> as far as I can tell, all the Corvettes are okay. 
You pull back just a little bit because you're starting to get in trouble. Oh, you got to do a big turn, yeah, which takes ages. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Keep moving, keep moving. You guys, fire on them. No! Oh, well. I hate that fucking voice line because it makes me think enemy- Oh, we lost another ship. It makes me think the enemy reinforcements have actually arrived, and they haven't. It's just a line that they say during battle. But I'm like, fuck, where are the enemy reinforcements? Shit. Oh, we're in trouble. We're not. Everything's fine. Go in on them. I feel it. I think we're good to start attacking that. I still want you guys to intercept their, uh... Oh, yeah, the point defense. Yeah, rendered that completely fucking moot. Got point defense rules. See, when I played this as a kid, or played as a teenager, I think I played as a teenager, because I played it a while after it came out. Uh, I never thought of how useful point defense ships would be. The ability to shoot enemy missiles out of the sky? Yeah, that's fucking useful. But I was like, oh, Corvettes are kind of shit. And I'm like, what, what was I on about? They're amazing. Oh, I love them. And these Class C frigates are all right. I love these crappy ships. They're great. Go do a video game. Look how many fucking ships there are. God damn. Imagine if you were piloting a fucking Starfire amongst that, that absolute scrum. And it's like, good luck not shooting your fucking squadron, mates. Jesus Christ. And it's like, the mod has upscaled the graphics a bit, and I think it's honestly gotten the graphics to, like, a decent point, where it doesn't look too antiquated, and it still looks quite pretty. But it's quite visually impressive. I have to say, I really like how the game looks. Now, the other mod I played, like, upscaled the graphics significantly. Like, it was kind of ridiculous. But I'd say this is precisely enough, if not a bit more than enough, to make the game pleasing to the eye for a modern player. Whilst not turning the game into a fucking... or not having the game turn your PC All into right. a fucking furnace. I've... It's just right. It's like the porridge, you know? It's just right. It's... And I don't mean just right as in it's just good enough. I mean it's just right as in, mm, this is exactly where I want it to be. We're gonna go deploy some Jedi! <laughs> Let's get some fucking Jedi on the planet's surface. We only lost one assault carrier. That's not too bad. Easily replaced. Oh, look at that. They've got some droids. How fucking cute. Now, I've never really used Jedi, so watch me use them wrong and get them absolutely massacred. But the only way I'm going to be good with Jedi is if I use them, so... Affirmative. On our way, sir. At maximum unit capacity. There are the Jedi. Here they are. They're self-healing, and they can absorb blaster fire. Obviously, they have to go into melee, though, and that's a bit of a problem. Here's the command force. Very nice. And then the tactical troopers over there. Yes, Lovely. Sir. All right. Uh, there's a fucking facility there. down there. Maybe it'll give us some vehicles. What have you found, lads? Ah, abandoned heavy factory. Oh, you can give us armored assault tanks. Oh, yes. Do go for it. Oh, Ready yeah. Successful tactical adjustment. Yeah, destroy the clones. Yeah, I hate clones. <clears throat> There's actually no clones on the battlefield because we can't deploy them, so, uh, yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, you guys pull back, though. I don't want you dying. Tanks, you're disposable. Take care of them. You guys were just acting as scouts. The rest of you come down here and help. I want to keep this going to require a little bit more micromanaging now that we have melee units, but I don't want them getting fucking shot to shit. They do heal just quite slowly. Get them. Yes. Yes. Good shit. I wonder if we can get enough Jedi to just have a murder swarm. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, excuse me. Get him. Is 
So they self-heal automatically, but also I can make them self-heal. Like that. Good, let's get some more Jedi. Heading out, sir. Some more vehicles. Right away. And some more troopers. I love it, because yeah, we have shit troops, but we have six fucking Jedi Knights on the field. That makes up for it, doesn't it? <laughs> now, let's be real for a moment. The Jedis would look fucking terrible. They're probably the most antiquated looking units on the field, but I don't care. The fucking Jedi. <laughs> yeah. You have to be careful with that field commander because I can see him dying very easily. But if he stays relatively in the center, he should be all right. If I had more options for formations, that'd be helpful. I, I might do, actually. It occurs to me I don't know. I've never checked. I don't think I do, though. It's a bit beyond this fucking game's engine, though. That's more of a criticism for the game itself, not for the fucking mod. Alright, the Jedi need to back off for a minute because they've taken some hits. I'm not fucking losing them. They're too valuable and I can't train them at the moment. I don't even know how. I think I have to get them from the from the Senate or I have to do a big uh, really? officer training thing oh, in order yeah. to get them. That exactly. needs to go. There they are. Fuck it. Sprint over there. Yeesh. Good. God, they are damn good. You just have to be careful with them. But, you know, that makes sense. No Jedi can block every single fucking blast bolt shot at them. Oh, yeah. Oh, our ground forces are quite good. Considering how shit they are, they're also amazing. It's literally... I was about to say it's literally thanks to the Jedi, but it actually isn't. We were doing fine before we got them. They just help a lot. So we've destroyed their vehicles. Or their buildings, sorry. All they've got left now is whatever they've got deployed on the field. Well, let's actually put this in a way that's maybe fair. It is simultaneously a testament to the mod's creators and a sign of my own insanity that I actually really enjoy playing with these old, outdated, crappy units. These Era 1 units, as opposed to, like, getting stuck into the fucking Clone Wars shit with all the clone troopers and acclimators and whatever. But to make these units enjoyable to play, that's something. That's something. That takes a bit of effort, I think. Don't kill my units. Base is under attack. You guys are going to want to get in quick. I think that's more anti-infantry. They tried to drop a bomb as well. Fucking, they really want these Jedi dead. It ain't happening though. Ah, down here. Nice, good job tanks, well done. We lost nothing. That's the first time in this video, I think, that we fought a land battle and lost nothing. Is the Jedi are actually that fucking good? System control achieved. We need to do what the council said and get those fucking, uh, let's actually find out what they're called real quick so I don't get it wrong. Golan 1 space colonies. Yeah, we need those. That's a primary star base. That's different. That's a space colony. Okay, we want two of those. So let's have a quick look at Tatooine. What have they got here? More like Twatooine. Laughs, laughs in British. Oh, they've got an invincible dreadnought as well. Interesting. That might actually be a proper fight because they've purely because they've got their own capital ship. Hmm. What now? Stable realm. Ah, uh, unlikely, but I'll do my best because infrastructure score is currently at fifteen. But you know, I'll do my best. Vehicle in production. Constructing unit. Okay. 
They've actually got a capital ship this time. I don't know if it's as good as ours, because it's not a named character, but it is still an invincible class dreadnought. That's a little spooky. I recommend we perform my usual tactic of sending the bombers and fighters way ahead to just kind of fuck them up from afar. I feel it. Yes, sir. See, he feels it. That's quite a swarm. What's the order? Woohoo! I copy that. Pelta here. We're trying to spread out the pelters a little bit more because they're all on the left side, and that's not great. We want to spread out the point defense. I think that's why we keep losing ships on our right flank. The advantage, of course, is that Invincible is incredibly fucking slow, and the fleet aren't really moving in coordination with each other. Not especially, no, so we'll be able to take out the units as they approach. The fighters and bombers probably won't make it to the Invincible, but they'll cause problems on their way through. You know what, fuck it. Hit that instead. Keep your eyes open. No point getting destroyed without uh, fucking sending your payload. Thrusters at maximum. That ship's now bodies. Go for that one. Keep in formation. See the galaxy, they said. What is it, sir? Standing by. Eliminating target. Weapons ready. The missiles will be offline no matter. Thrusters at maximum. I need to break off. Our main ships don't even really have to get involved. You know, the fighters are just taking care of it for us, which is good because it's a mostly carrier-based fleet. So this is intentional. And if we were actually up against a dedicated enemy fleet that got close, we'd be in serious trouble. Yeah, this is worth pointing out. Keep in formation. I can't see it. Yes, sir. Ready. Move in on their lane. Keep your eyes open. What's the order? This is it. Push forward to support them. We don't want them getting hit by missiles. Or bombs. I also want you to shoot those fucking dudes. Yeah, take them out. Lovely. Thrusters in maximum. Incoming. We must turn back. Those asteroids. Shields are down. Yes, sir. What is it, sir? They're all fine. How are things going over here? Ah, it's lost its shields. Good start. It's doing great. Yeah, totally. Ah, wonderful. Ah, fantastic. Ah, look at you all fucking die. Moving in for the kill. I feel. What is your order? Just in case it needs a little bit more, send another bunch of fucking squadrons over. Everyone here is fine. Oh yeah, it's going great. Warm up. Ready for attack orders. Waiting orders. Torpedoes. Enemy target sighted. Watch the crossfire. Incoming. Thrusters at maximum. Oh, this guy's in trouble. Oh yeah, this guy's in trouble. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, that's bad. Goodbye. They do have a lot of corvettes and mini frigates, though, and that's worth taking into consideration. Should keep an eye on things. Make sure that Invincible doesn't make it to the front line. I don't want to have to deal with him. If it does make it to the front line, then I want all of their ships gone before it does. Good, good, good. Let's show these clusters at maximum. Staying on target. I got a lock. Nice. Good stuff. Those guys should probably back off because the invincible is getting close. Attack! We've lost the squad And it will absolutely body them if it decides to start shooting at them. It's a fight where I have to be a little bit patient, but the uh the benefit of not losing my ships will be a big one, because money is tight. This is an economic war. 
You know what isn't big business? Losing your ships. You know what is big business? Destroying enemy ships without and losing any of your own ships. Well, ships of any value, anyway. We can lose fighters. They're free. <laughs> Fuck them. But the big ships, the shiny ships, the expensive ships? No, no, don't lose those. They cost money. I didn't get this far in business by losing money. That, to be fair, that Invincible has done a good fucking job of surviving this long. Like, actually genuinely surprising. We should probably move in to attack him. Start pushing up. I think we're actually running out of fires, which is the first time this has happened. Good news is the, their Invincible has lost quite a few of his guns. Don't just stand there and get shot by the missiles. Uh. Right, sir. Good, good. Point defense, point defense, point defense. You're gonna need it. Beginning attack run. Concentrating fire. What's our orders? I'm on him. Fighters at 0.06. What's the order? You need to back off. I copy that. There it goes. This is it. You Ready, run sir. away. I, you've served so admirably, I don't want you to die. <laughs> Just get out of I there, my dude. That. What is it, sir? Everyone else is fine. That's very good. I feel it. Cool. We'll begin pushing up to the space station then. Everything went great. There's something really nice about seeing the ships advance and hearing the sound of blaster fire. There's something really nice about that. Just a bit of a bit of a bit of oh, I like it. I've always loved the sound of Star Wars blasters. I really do. I think it's one of the things that always drew me to like the space combat elements because the blasters always sound better in space. Or I should say the blasters sound better on starfighters and stuff. Uh, cause you wouldn't be able to hear lasers in space cause there's no fucking air for sound to travel on in space so it'd actually be silent so what's the fucking deal? Almost as if a space battle with no noise would be fucking dull as shit. I'll take my unrealistic but extremely loud space battles, thank you. I'm sure there is a way you could make a silent space battle interesting if you went for a kind of thriller element rather than like a, you know, space action element. Like maybe if there was a stealth ship that was picking off of a craft and it's like, there's just silence and then out the window you see one Keep of your, your fellow ships just fucking detonate. That could be Don't cool. Flying, I, I Can you wind. turn space combat into survival horror? I don't know. <laughs> maybe you could. That could be pretty cool. In a galaxy where ambush, the, the risk of ambush is constant and uh, because there's no sound, it could come out of fucking nowhere. You have to rely on your sensors and obviously some ships are going to have the ability to like disable sensors or fly under the radar and stuff like that. And You know, it could be pretty cool. I don't think any devs are watching this, but if they are, yeah, you can have that one for free as long as you put me in as a voice actor. Not because I'm a good voice actor, but because I want to be in a game. Or a mod. I don't give a fuck. I ain't picky. I, need to break I won't even off. charge. I'll do it for free. The price you have to pay is having me in the video game. There we go. So was I a bit too over careful with that one? Yeah, totally. I totally was. But we didn't lose any ships. So that's pretty good. I think I've seen why my campaigns in this game take Good so fucking long though. Uh, I would like Tatooine, please. Thank you. Invasion commencing. I have four Jedi Knights to deploy. So there's a lot of pain in the ass nuisances on Tatooine. I'm hoping to avoid all of them. It's three Jedi per squad. Okay. So with four, we have a total of 12 Jedi. 12 Jedi in an army. That's a lot. That's... I mean, you know, they're not fucking Obi-Wan Kenobis, but they're still pretty good. Oh, hello. We're under attack. Suddenly, combat. Ooh, that Jedi survived. Let's go. <laughs> I 
Oh, that Jedi died. Sad. Fuck it, charge the Jedi in. Let's go. How are they against vehicles? Decent. Wait, there's more. God, they tear through infantry. That's good. That's good to see. That's what I like to see. Now, push up. Take the reinforcement point. We need it. Pull back. Bring in another squad of Jedi to heal the ones already here, and we'll bring in some more infantry. Can you heal our normal infantry? Yes, you can. Oh, wow. That's handy. That's very fucking handy. Good, good, good. Nice. Easy. Damn those Jedi, though. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. I don't think we lost a unit of them. Nah, we just lost a single Jedi, which didn't count as actually losing a unit of them. So we've still got as many Jedi as when we started. Planetary control achieved. Beautiful. All right, what was it they wanted? They wanted me to raise the infrastructure score, which is fucking unlikely, but you know, I'll Building do my best. Started. I think I'll leave it there, friends, because uh, it's getting a little late. I like this game. I like this mod a lot. If you like it, I mean, the game is probably quite cheap and the mod is free. I know the mod is free. So, and it's on Steam. So, give it a look. I don't know. Obviously not sponsored, funnily enough. Uh, <laughs> Star Wars itself did not contact me to advertise their 15-year-old game. I just like it. It's a bit of a classic. I enjoy the grand strategy elements. I like all the units involved. There are some crazy fucking mods out there. If somehow this one didn't take your fancy, there are many. It's a cool game. I like it a lot. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Lit Potatoes, Proxy, Kamenera, Heartland, Harak J, Dresso, Sion Distance, Lol, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewort, Majoko, My Moon, Alkir, Sweet Baby Red, Jessica Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Owl, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Warmast Oku, SCP 106A, Namad, and Kenny C800 for support me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you all so much for watching. I had a lot of fun, honestly. Like, this is another one of those recording sessions where I play a game, get kind of hooked on it, and I'm like, I'll do a video on it so I can kind of scratch that itch while also, A, providing content, doing my fucking job, and B, give you guys something different. I always think it's worth trying out some different stuff to see what you guys might be interested in. I have no plans, as it were, to make a series out of uh, Empire at War or this mod, but if that's something you wanted, then do let me know. I've got a lot on my plate at the moment, but if I knew there was uh, an interest in it, then I'd be inclined to give it a go. So, even if, even if you're sat there and you're like, oh, my one comment won't make a difference, no. Give it a try anyway. You never fucking know. Sometimes I don't need a lot of persuading, <laughs> especially not if I really like the game. Like, if one, sometimes if one person's like, I think this is pretty cool, I go, fuck it, we're doing it then. It can be that easy, but... Yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I had a great time and I hope you did too. Whatever happens next time could be this, but it'll most likely be something else. Or whatever happens, hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.